Hi guys, I wanted to do a quick video on my trading view layout. Uh, so this is the layout and it's extremely simple and all I look at is one daily chart. Now I used to look at a multi time frame um, chart view where I had four charts but I found that to be um, unnecessary and distracting in some ways because I would end up staring at the five minute chart during the day and um, put a lot of emphasis on every five minute candle and have at many points gotten shaken out of perfectly good positions by a little bit of volatility on the lower time frames. And as far as, as the weekly chart goes, I only use it uh, occasionally when I'm entering a new position if I wa might want to take a longer term view of something. Um, so since I use it, let's say like 1% of the time, I just switch from the daily to the weekly uh, when I'm doing my scanning. And for the uh, most part, I'm just looking at the daily chart. Um, this is where my signals come from. And I realized that the lower time frames were just noise. Uh, so I have simplified my process. Um, this has also made it a lot more portable and it's very easy for me to trade when I travel uh, just from my laptop and on my phone. And this was one of the other reasons that I switched to TradingView is because they have a really nice mobile app um, and a great widget for the iPhone so I can trade or at least check in on my trades from my phone and don't have to be on my laptop uh, the entire time. Um, so let me show you what the indicators uh, are on my charts. It's really simple. I just have three indicators. So one is volume and you can add indicators by going here and then searching for volume and adding this. And let me show you what the settings on my volume are. Um, this is the input. This is the settings for the style and this is the visibility. Um, and the only other two indicators I have here are gaps on this AIOI light by Tradinsky. So let me tell you what they are and what the settings for these is. And then I'll show you how I exactly use them in subsequent videos where I talk about how I make my watch list, how I do my scanning and how I enter. Um, because I don't want this video to drag on forever. So this is my settings for um, gaps. And what this indicator does is basically draw automatically, um, draw these boxes around where the gap ups and the gap downs are. So this is super helpful in identifying any um, gap ups as overhead resistance or gap downs as uh, support that are coming below. Um, and you can change these settings to increase or decrease the number of gaps and how far behind you wanted to check these gaps. And this is my um, setting for style and these are my settings for visibility. Now this AIOI Lite by Tradinsky is a really cool indicator made by one of my followers, uh, Tradinsky. I'm not sure if he wants his name out there, so I'm not going to say it. Uh, but I am super grateful for uh, for him making this because what he's essentially done is combine all the indicators that I need um, into one really cool and easy to use indicator. So the way you can add this, and he's made it free for everyone, so thank you for doing that, is I think you search for Tradinsky and then you select this one, the AIOI Lite by Tradinsky. And I'll show you what my settings are and how I use it. Um, so as far as inputs, I use the big up, big down day. And I'll uh, talk about how I use that when I do my scanning, because that's essentially where it shows up. And I use the VWAP and it plots the four moving averages that I use on the charts. Uh, now I use SMAs and not EMAs. And that's simply because I'm a simple person. So I like the simple moving averages. I use the 10, 20, 50 and the 200 day. Um, simply because they're the most uh, commonly used ones. And so they end up becoming self-fulfilling prophecies. And I use the tight days, which are basically bars that are 50% of a candle's ADR. And in case that doesn't make sense to you, um, I will talk about how I um, use that when I'm talking about my scanning and my watch list building. And I have this setting for inside bars. And this position is of the text that comes at the bottom and here you can choose what you want to include in the text and I have all these options checked um, for style this is what my settings are and you can change the colors for the moving averages 
um, based on whatever your preference is. This is just how I've been using it for years. And so my eyes have been trained to this. And this puts little white dots below any tight days or below any inside bars. And again, I will discuss what these are and how I use them when I talk about my watch list building. But for now, I just want to give you a sense um, of what this indicator is doing. And um, this is my setting for the visibility. And that's all there is to this trading view layout. It's not complicated at all. And I believe because it only has um, two indicators, essentially, uh, you can use a much cheaper plan to get it. Um, I am not um, a, a trading view affiliate or salesperson in any way. So don't ask me the details for how much it costs, blah, blah, blah. And I think it's also different by country and different based on plans, etc. Um, if you want to know what I have, I think it's the premium just because I need a lot of alerts on a lot of stocks and I'm going to be sharing my layout. So, uh, you can get the link below in the description and I'm also going to be including a link to sign up for trading view. If you don't have it already, in case you want to try it out. Um, I really love this app. There are also a lot of helpful tools here, particularly the long position and the short position, uh, which I find incredibly helpful in helping me visualize uh, the risk reward on any trades that I'm taking. And I'll go through those in the how I enter video. But um, I have absolutely loved my migration from DC2000 to TradingView. And I think this is what I'm going to stick to um, for the rest of my trading life, unless something better comes out. Uh, so I hope this video has been helpful and you can get the links from the description below. Thank you.